Hi everyone, my name is Lisa. Welcome to my classroom. So I'm gonna do a different type of video that I normally don't do, but we did an experiment today and I wanted to share it with you. So I hope you enjoy it. In order to do this experiment, you're going to need three cups of water. You'll need hot, cold, and warm, or you can just use room temperature water. You're also gonna need a thermometer that has the mercury inside of it. And I also like to use goggles with the kids just to show them that you need to be safe whenever you're doing any type of experiment. And then you're also gonna need a recording sheet that has thermometers on it. I would have the students predict what they think the thermometer is going to do based on what we've learned this whole week um, about temperature and thermometers. And I would have them um, say whether the thermometer, the mercury inside of the thermometer is gonna go up or down. And so our first one is going to be room temperature water. And let's go ahead and see what it is right now. So right now we have about 48 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and use the Fahrenheit side. So let's go ahead and put it in the room temperature water and see if, if it changes anything or not. And so it did go up, so this is supposed to be room temperature, so it is pretty cold in the classroom right now. So it looks like it is 56 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna go ahead and record the 56. So I would have the kids go and mark it about here and then they would color it all in. And then also they would need to write 56 degrees. So 56, and then I would show them that the little circle is four degrees. And then we'll do the next experiment. And now we're gonna go ahead and put it in the hot water and we're gonna see what happens to the thermometer. Wow, look at that. It's going up really fast. And it's already hitting 100 and all the kids get excited because it's at 100. Because 100 is just a cool number passing 110 and it looks like it is starting to slow down so when it starts to slow down then that's what we'll record so we have 110 112 almost like 113 so we'll go ahead and record 113 degrees Fahrenheit for the hot water So we just did the thermometer in the hot water. So we're gonna go ahead and record the temperature. And it is for 113 degrees. So I'd have the kids mark 113, draw a line, and then they would color in their thermometer on their paper. And then I would have them also write 113 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you go. Go ahead and measure the temperature of this ice water. And you can see the ice in the cup. So we're gonna go ahead and get our thermometer. So right now it should be back at room temperature. 
which it's pretty cold in the classroom, so it is 50 degrees. And then we would do the experiment. So we're gonna put it in the ice water. And we can watch it go down. And the kids are always amazed at how fast it goes down. So let's see, it looks like it's kind of stopping right now. So we are at, looks like 22 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe even 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So then I would go ahead and have the kids record that on their paper. Okay, so for our last experiment, it was with the cold water. So I would have them mark the 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So here's 20. They would draw a line and color it in. All right, and then they would write 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we're done. This was such an easy and simple experiment that my students were able to do. And now they have such a great understanding about thermometers and temperature. I really hope that you enjoyed this and maybe you can do this with your students too. Thanks for watching.